uh, the, early this morning as we were sitting having a nice cup of coffee in the early morning we heard the rasping or the calling of a big male leopard and lucky enough we got to find him this morning this is our territorial male we often see him in and around the camp and the properties around us let's see what he's doing So this process of what he's doing now is called scuffing. Um, when a male leopard will urinate, he'll scratch backwards with his back feet and that is going to be help to mark his territory with scent glands. And then you'd also see as he turned his back, he sprayed urine against the tree. That's also going to be marking his, ter his territory as well. Did you see him? There he is. So just after a brief time, we did lose the tracks earlier. We did lose him into the river. We had to get off and track him on foot. And we did relocate him. He's being a bit sneaky and lying down in this long grass. That we should, we should pick him up again. But we finally caught up with him again. You can see at this time of the year it is extremely difficult with the grass this colour. It's almost as if he just vanishes and reappears in the blink of an eye. But that's what leopards do. So leopards are definitely one of the most difficult cats for us to find. Because everything about a leopard is designed around not being seen. If you think about the way they behave, a solitary lifestyle, the, the spot patterning to break up the outline of the, of the body. There's so much that it goes on in a leopard's body just to hide them. So it does make it a bit of a challenge for us. One of the biggest giveaways is the white tip to the tail. Often you'll just see this white spot walking through the long grass. And that's how we just kept that he turned here. So we're just going to loop around the sticker bush and see if we can pick him up again. Alright, so this male leopard has evaded us again. He dropped into a drainage line as we were trying to go around that thick bush. Um, but when we got off and we tried to have a look for some tracks in the drainage line, we got very lucky and we found a nice big elephant bull. So we thought we would try and make an approach on him. Everything out here is about being flexible. So this is a, quite a, a fairly large bull elephant. He seems to be by himself, which is not uncommon for elephant bulls. They are very known for being solitary. I don't know if you can see on the side of his face, there is a bit of a wet patch coming down his face. Now that's, a, that's called temporal sweating. And it can be a sign of stress in elephants, but stress is not like our stress. It is might be lack of water, lack of food, but in elephant bulls it's also a very clear defining feature of must. A must bull will often have temporal sweating coming down from his, from his temples. So one really, really nice thing about being elephants on foot is you actually get a size comparison to see how absolutely huge these animals are, magnificently huge. Mm.